Hey guys, my name is Craig Carver Jr. and this is my Pekka Kutcha Pek Pika. It's it's about beards. Well, um, it's about 20 slides, 20 seconds long. And um, sorry if I talk fast. I've got a lot of information and not that much things to get out. Not a lot of time. Um, so that said, let's move forward with bad guys. They're usually easy to tell who the bad guy is. Because usually it's a creepy old guy in the corner with a, you guessed it, um, did you know Pogonophobia is a fear of beards? So, next time that the, you're getting the creeps from the bad guy in a movie, just realize it's probably just his beard. Nationality. Beards are an important aspect of your life. They are ingrained in our past, present, and future. Uh, different styles of beards come from different parts of the globe. I happen to have dark brown hair with dark red beard. This stems back to my Irish ancestry. Now, that's kind of cool because I just found that out recently. Now, moving forward. Knowledge is power. On average, a man's beard will grow 5.5 inches a year. If you were to put down the razor and stop shaving forever, how long will your beard be? About 27.5 feet. A man who shaves spends roughly 3,350 hours of his life in the bathroom. All right. Weaknesses. 98% of the Forbes 100 list of the world's richest men are clean shaven and they don't have beards. So sorry guys if you have a beard. Also, um, beards don't get you rich. And uh, also when you get in a fight and someone pulls it, it really hurts. It makes me cry. Don't do it. All right, powerful men, Abe Lincoln, Chuck Norris, Mr. T, Leonardo da Vinci, Claude Monet, Jeff Bridges, Billy Mays. What do these men have in common? You guessed it. Well, the question I'm going to ask today is their success was, was their success based off uh, skill or just having a beard? I'm, some was just a beard. Uh, my beard. My beard is red uh, because I'm Irish. My two-year-old falls asleep, and sometimes she pulls my beard, and I cry, but I get over it. It's cute. Uh, my parents lied to me when I was little. Uh, they said if I shaved it, it will grow longer. And guess what? That's kind of silly. And I am the only man in my family that can grow a beard. Moving on. A beard is a collection of hair that grows on the chinny chin chin of cheeks of humans and some non-human animals. This is the Wikipedia quote, guys. Just don't look it up. Uh, in humans, usually the usually only pubescent or adult males are able to grow beards. Lucky them. Uh, according to CBS News, a beard can be problematic and dangerous to your health. Dr. Daniel Yadiger states, the coarseness of a beard can provide a ripe environment for bacteria. In addition to bacteria, viruses can be passed through contact of this beard. That's scary. Moving on. Pros of having a beard. A beard can protect your face from damaging rays of the sun, preventing dermatoheliosis. Uh, it's a Sorry, it's chronic sun damage. Uh, also, guys, it, having a big bushy beard keeps you warm in the winter. You can take my word on it. I am from Maine. So, uh, study by Nigel Barber, not kidding, uh, uses data on British facial hair trends from 1842 to 1971, found that men with beards and mustaches increased as marriage age women decreased, basically. The guy with the beard gets the woman. That's what it, that's what it came out to. Myths about beards. You should shave before a job interview. Well, most employers that don't have strict facial hair policies will not discriminate against a man with a well-groomed beard. That being said, uh, like I said earlier, shaving my beard will make it grow thicker. That's silly because if you shave it, it only gets shorter. Am I right? Moving on. Science and history. Dihydrotestosterone is a chemical behind growing beards and going bald. Scientists have believed prehistoric men had beards for warmth, intimidation, and protection. Um, in ancient civilizations, beards were a sign of honor, were only cut as punishments. While searching the internet for content on beards, I came across a site called National Beard Championships. Yes, that is a beard cage. Um... This blew my mind to find that people were actually growing beards and mustaches for a sport. These are held in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, they look like the Mad Hatter. Moving on. Beard stigmas. I've come across a few blogger sites that suggest that people under 40 stay away from beards and facial hair and typically go with such things as tattoos. Uh, I'm assuming it's got a lot to do with the intimidation factor. Um... Uh, 
aspect of a man with a beard, or maybe it could be nothing at all. I don't care. Moving on. Uh, my view on beards. Okay, well, I grew up thinking beards make you unique. Uh, when I was going, it was always kind of cool. Uh, my family and friends would always have a different beard, and I would always like to keep up with them and copy them. It was fun. So I love beards. That's cool. Moving on. How hard is it to write a blog about beards? Well, you know, as you may know, Pekakura is a presentation of 20 slides, 20 seconds long. I thought that this would be easy to do. However, I have been proven wrong. For my six to seven minutes of internet fame, I have spent around four to six hours researching beards. As I find myself running out of things to say, I come to the question, who else wears a beard? I found either proof of other animals sporting beards or proof of Photoshop. I don't know. I don't care as long as I keep speaking for 20 seconds. If the photos are true, then they're pretty awesome. Moving on. All right. Eggs are very high in quality protein, which is the major building block of hair. Uh, potatoes are a clean and gluten-free source of quality carbohydrates, which carbohydrates are what your body needs in good amounts to produce testosterone and DHT. Moving on to citations. Guys, I am not making any money off this uh, Pekka Kucha thing. Uh, it's strictly for educational purposes. These are where I got my information. Nextluxury.com, CBS, Double and Stash, uh, The Airspace, Google Images where I got all my images, uh, Wikipedia, Huffington Post, Beard Booze, National Beard Championships, and Beard Resources. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I kind of had a little fun doing this. And that's it.